are live happy friday everybody uh welcome instagram 
We have the holy trinity of social medias. We are live on Facebook, live on YouTube, live on Instagram. How are we all? What is the crack? Howdy campers, there's Scott, woohoo! So, we made it to Friday. Yay. Bad timing, just on the way to hospital picking my daughter and latest grandson. Congratulations, Dan. Well done. Hopefully, mummy, baby, daddy, everybody okay and doing well. So, Instagram, how are we? Say hello on Instagram. Uh, hi from Aberdeen. Uh, Lorna, how are you? Uh, who else have we got on? Jump on. Everybody from Instagram. So, hopefully, this all works. I'm hoping this all works. And um, we have some unboxings through. Afternoon, Graham. Hello from Sony Scotland. So we're going to do the usual of Cella Black. Hello, what's your name? Where do you come from? Uh, Lauren is okay, but she's got COVID. I feel your pain. I had COVID. I had COVID over my 40th birthday. What a fantastic present. So um, that was recently. So yeah, what do you do? There's Terry. Hello, Terry. What's the crack? Where in Ireland are you based? Uh, I am in Northern Ireland. Up near the North Coast. So um, yeah. Uh, who else have we got in? So sunny, sunny Scotland. Four season one day. I know. I was looking at the weather thinking that it's going to be a good day. Sun was shining. Then it got cold. We had ice this morning. Now it's pouring rain. So it's typical Northern Irish weather. <laughs> Alex, I have no idea what you're on about. Fergal, what's the crack? And what else have we got going on? So yeah, hopefully it's all doing good. Um, hello from London. Hello, John. What is the crack with you, son? So yeah, hopefully you're all doing good. Just to have, an, have another 40th. Can I have the same amount of presents again? Can I do that? Uh, if I can have more presents... I'd be happy. Who else is in? Trying to, this is really weird. Trying to look after all three of you. If I can compare it to anything, Facebook is probably the Labrador. Just sits there, chilled out, and does its thing. YouTube will be like the older dog. You know, like the one that you think you're going to have to put down someday. Instagram, you guys are feeling a little bit like the crazy Cocker Spaniel. I don't know what's going to go on here. I have to keep an eye on you. So, yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. So, hopefully, you've all had a lovely April Fool's Day. And uh, you didn't get caught out too much. Uh, we put up a wee post. It wasn't really designed to catch many people out. Just for a bit of crack. Uh, but yeah, I, I've heard of a few people getting stung really, really bad with uh, April Fool's Day. So hopefully you're not one of them. We have some unboxings to do. Now, the... <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Uh, so my S2A baton still has the same batteries Third winter, what's the crack? Just quality stuff, mate, isn't it? So hopefully you're doing well. And uh, I've seen a lot of Scott. If you're not following Scott, Wessex Blades and Knife Making. He changed the name and I can't remember at all. But check him out. He is on Instagram. He is on YouTube. Don't know if he has a Facebook page. Can't remember. But check out Scott. 
lovely fella. And um, and if you're into a custom knife, go chat Scott. So we have uh, some unboxings. We had some people, mainly on Facebook, on the Facebook group, completely freak out. Ah, there's Bailey's shooting. We'll give him a little wave because if I don't, he'll only complain. Um, we had some people on on um, our Facebook group. So Instagram, if you guys have Facebook, you can search for our group on Facebook, which is Olight UK group. You can search there and join the community there. Um, some people gurning. Not that you used to gurn about uh, new products. So, and Instagram, or not Instagram, Amazon had these before us, which is weird. I don't know why. But um, we have a couple of unboxings to do to show you. So, I'm probably going to be more biased towards Instagram because it's easier for me just to show stuff up there. But um, we will do top down cameras and all that crack. RDP project. Rob, what is the crack? And everybody else who's joining in. <laughs> yes, yes, Carl. Thanks for admitting that. Um, so if I'm doing an unboxing, then you do realize that we are obviously getting these. So the Americans, you know what the Americans are like. So um, I'm gonna do that Instagram thing here. And then just for, you know, do these weird sound stuff. So we have three torches to unbox. The pair and two in the clover gradient. Not zombie apocalypse green because the government would then freak out and say it's probably banned. Who knows? Yeah, I have no idea what that is, Scott. I've seen people doing it, and I have no idea why they do it. I'm just not very learned. Uh, it's snowing here, then just shine, then snow, then rain. The snow. Yeah, it's just it's all over the place. All we need now is a hurricane, and we have everything. Craig's just switched over to Instagram to view. Craig, you're very welcome. So someone needs to help me out with that. If you can, Instagram guys, make sure you are following us on Instagram. Share this video out as well or share it into your story. Things like that as well. I'll start whispering into the microphone. Buy some torches. Uh, perforated eardrum. Sweet. What shows am I doing this year? I'm not... I'm not going to any shows this year. Um, I have booked flights to go to the shooting show next year because uh, I saw Browning had confirmed they were going. And I was like, ah, right, dates are released for the shooting show. Yes. So I jumped on to, to uh, book flights and they were so much cheaper. So I've booked my flights, so I will, all been well, be at the shooting show 2023 at the NEC in Birmingham on the 17th of February. So hopefully I'll see you then and I'll try and find you. You'll have to let me know if you're going and where you are. So will we get a COVID edition, Alex? I don't think so. Don't think that would be the best um, to get, but yeah. Sean Creswell, hello, must crack. Uh, Brownie, I honestly don't know. Don't know. We are trying to work at something. So um, 
give us some time and we'll try and get that as soon as we can for shipping back to the Republic. Great, you'll have a stand. Fantastic. I honestly, um, everybody, again, this is just going to be like a shout out program. Bailey's shooting over on Facebook and on uh, Instagram. Check him out. Lovely fella. I hate him with a passion because he is doing what I would love to do. So he has got his own um, gun shop uh, in England, selling lots of toys, shooting lots of stuff. And um, yeah, I'm very, very jealous of him. But um, go check him out and um, see how you get on. Uh, Carl says, I always go to the Royal Highland show, but it's kind of going downhill. Was that the the Royal Highland show? No, that's not the tattoo. That's different, isn't it? So I would love to get to the tattoo or something. But oh, stand by your beds. Olight Australia has joined in on Instagram. So watch yourself. So we'll go for the clover gradient parent two. Let's get that unboxed first. Everybody knows what a box looks like. Just in case you didn't, you can have a look in the back and you will see all the specs of the torch. You will see your run times. You will see like your drop downs. You will see your drop tests. It's IPX8 rated. So you can go swimming with it if you really want to. So um, when you open it, lovely wee magnetic flap. Just wee things you got there, I love. And you will see your yellow card. Now that yellow card is quite important. Okay, Carl, I would love to. Yeah, I would. Any, well, do you know what? If the game fair is on over here, I'll probably go to it. So if you're new to Olight, if you've never bought an Olight before, I, Craig, I know it's back to front. I don't know the setting to do that. Yeah, I don't know the setting to swap that around. Maybe I'll just wear a plain t-shirt next time. But I don't know the setting on Instagram. It's that long since I've done it. To swap it for... Um, so it's not mirrored. But inside here, you will have your destructions to remove your yellow tab. So much customer service can be resolved by simply just removing the yellow tab. And that's not joking. We get lots of people in saying, I bought this torch, doesn't work, it's a load of rubbish, won't charge, and they're going, did you remove the yellow tab? What yellow tab? And then that's what happens. So I've removed the torch first because I want to give you a wee look. Um, I'll dive else in the box. Is that an Olight mouse pad? Where? Yes. It's an S1R mouse pad. Um, hen's teeth, to get them. So I've had that one for nearly four years. So inside here, we're just gonna remove some packaging and um, everything else is inside the box. One compartment, you will have your uh, head strap and you will have your instructions in there. Read your instructions. I know we don't. I never like reading instructions until something goes wrong. Then I'll go, fine, I'll read them. But normally, uh, yeah, I don't read them. Uh, some people are, yes, exactly. 
Uh, what else we got going on? Yeah. So in here, you have your charge lead and the smaller one, smaller container, charge lead, and uh, a lanyard. So if you want to put the parent two on a lanyard, you can do that. I'll show you the parent two in a minute. But um, you have a lanyard. You have your charge lead, which is the MCC, um, we call it the MCC3 cable. It's like the jack of all trades cable. So you have that one indicated by the red underneath. Okay, so that will charge a lot of the new stuff. And you have this lovely little hooky tool. And what it does, it just helps you feed through the uh, lanyard. So you've got that. They are so handy. See for other stuff, they are so, so handy. So let's show you. I'm going to take off um, the, the yellow tabs here. You have yellow tab over your lens. So make sure you remove that. There is on the parent 2 a proximity sensor. So um, make sure you do uh, remove that or the torch won't work. Harrogate show is excellent. The Yorkshire powder burners are usually there. I love shooting black powder. I have never shot black powder or a muzzle loader. I would love to have a go, but I've never shot black powder. So who do we go to first? I would go into Instagram first to show you this, or Facebook, YouTube. Facebook and YouTube is the one camera. So I don't know if I'm going to use guys first or going to Instagram first. Who wants to see it first? Fastest finger. These are all fine, all good. Right. We'll go with um, the top down camera here. We'll go with that first. So here we go, Facebook, YouTube. This is the Clover Gradient. Lovely color, really, really nice. I love the gradient jobs that we do in these. Very, very nice. And of course the parent too, it's just a crack and light. But let's see if you're into funky looking green colors. Very, very nice. Facebook, YouTube, I've had a look. So Instagram, your choice. Here you go. Uh, make sure we do get all your comments here. That is a really, really nice coloration. So hopefully you guys can see that properly. That is lovely. Really, really nice. Just compared to my hand. Very nice. These are... Oh! Shots fired. Do I tell you guys what Facebook have said about you? That's just, oh, shocking. Didn't say it wasn't true. Shocking though. Um, older YouTube. You've seen these. You got to see this. Now, the parent two... It's, a, it's one of my favorite head torches. If I didn't need a red light on a head torch, I would definitely go for parent two. Simply because the runtime. So, uh, on fully charged, now with a lot of light comes a lot of heat at times. Um, so, you get two and a half thousand lumens on that, that turbo setting for two minutes. Then simply because of heat, it will gradually drop down. And the lowest that it will drop down to will be 800 lumens then for 175 minutes. And then on high, you have 500 lumens 
and that's going for 270 minutes. And then you have medium, which is 120 lumens, 18 hours, 18 hours, 30 lumens, which is our low, there's low, which is loads, still lots to go on there, uh, 66 hours, and then moonlight, which is five lumens, just five 12 and a half days. So that one battery, maximum 12 and a half days, depending on use. Now, I have found I never go full turbo all the time. It's, it's just using common sense. If a car, you know, says that, oh, you can get like, X amount of miles out of a tank and you're just going flat to the mat in first gear and like revving like all sorts you know you're not going to get that full um, usage out of your your tank Um, just come on are we looking at an invisible torch I didn't get that Okay, there's this private conversation going on here on Facebook. So, uh, but there we go. So, if I didn't need a head, uh, a red light, parent two, all the way. (laughs) Rob, settle, settle. Um, it's not. It's a crack of me light. No. The um, head stop for it. All you do is pop off the uh, pocket clip and thread it through your head strap. Thread the torch right through, and then there you go. It does sit nicely on the head. Um, you can rotate it through so I can have it on as I said this million times I can have this switched on looking at you having a conversation but the light is just pointing down so it's not going to um, screw around and give you blindness and wreck your natural night vision they are our own batteries you know so they are a proprietary battery uh, the 21700 this one comes with the 21700 is the 4000 milliamp battery, 3.6 volt. Now, if you have the likes of a Seeker 3 Pro, um, you can use the 5000 milliamp battery in that. So you'll get even longer runtime than that 12 and a half days. So, the um, Mark, what you're asking about batteries, we recommend using the batteries that um, we've approved. Now, this is the same thing people do say about, oh, well, you know, why do I have to use your battery? Why can't I use my own batteries? And blah, 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 blah. It's because this is what we've tested. It's the exact same thing if, um, well, here we go. Here's an extra light that I have for um, doing work, you know, I can change the the color modes for videos and all that sort of crack. Um, But it's a special battery. It takes a special battery. Same thing as my my drone. Have to use their batteries, either for software or firmware compatibility. I can't use a random battery. So this is what I mean, that use the batteries that we uh, recommend you use with them. If in doubt, you can jump onto our website. You'll see the instruction manual um, for the listings, and then you can check out and see what batteries are approved. But um, even there was another torch company, which um, I can't remember which one it is, so I'm not going to name them. And they even said the exact same thing about batteries. It's what they've tested to best perform 
in their product. And if I go to QuickFit or whatever and say, look, I need new battery for my car. Well, it has to be this type of battery. And I go, well, I like this one. I want to use this battery. I was like, no, that won't suit. It has to be this one. So what do you do? Uh, someone wants to see, can they adapt a Marauder 2 for their rifle? I would be mounting the rifle on the Marauder 2, not the other way around. Or just go for an X9R and just have it done right. So that's the parent two. The proximity sensor, you'll see it um, will dim down when um, it comes up against an obstacle. Now, that distance is only a couple of inches and people have said that it's, it's dimmed down when they're working. Well, on re very high reflective surfaces, maybe, um, if the light's getting reflected and sensing that, but um, I would be happy, you know, using that there, working on a car or whatever, out hiking, things to get there for a light, no problem. Nice weight to it. Say so it's only 161 grams, 5.68 ounces, and that is including the battery. Sits nicely on the head. Very little weight to it. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> yes, Andrew. That definitely would be good. Uh, love the moonlight mode on Olight. Such long run times. Crazy amount of run times um, on our moonlight settings. Moonlight, I use that so much. I'm just blinded myself. Um, but I use moonlight a lot. If you're checking on the kids at night time. Or if you... Um, oh, yeah, we're down here. That's why I was showing that. Uh, we are back. There you go. Why did that change? Oh, yes. Sorry. Hotkey. Um, oops. Don't we love hotkeys? So, um, parent two. Love it. Moonlight modes. Love it. Uh, oh, desk unboxing live exactly. So the um, yeah, if you haven't seen it, there you go. We'll get you all zoomed in, in focus and everything. How about that? So these will be coming up for sale. As you know, we have been pushing a lot of stuff for our fifteenth anniversary. So OLED as a whole. Olight World, Olight in head office in China, have been going 15 years this year. So we will, um, <laughs> we will be um, doing a lot of special events. Um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. So what we want you guys to do is to get involved. You'll see a lot of posts coming up about our anniversary. Get involved. Get commenting. Um, there will be <clears throat> giveaways and stuff coming up soon as well. So make sure you stay tuned for them. There's Ben Graham. He's joined in. And next one we're going to do is the forest gradients. So that's the clover gradient. So we're going to do the forest gradient and then we'll compare the colors so you guys can see which one you like. Any chance of Balder S may be on offer at some point? It might be. It might be coming up for the um, anniversary event. Maybe. There might be a discount across sidewise. So, um, stay tuned. Hopefully, 
site-wide there will be um, some discount but we'll see right Sega 3 Pro did I even get nice serial numbers for these samples 1352 uh, for the parent two and fifteen fifty eight. That was a good year. Any more RGB lights coming? Who knows? Maybe. Have I seen new stuff? I have. I have seen new stuff, but I can't tell you about it. But I have seen um pictures of new stuff. So Sega 3 Pro in the Forest Gradient, these are limited edition. So I know the Americans have um, had these for sale. I can't remember if Australia had this sale on yet. I think Germany did. But um, maybe we are just pulling up the, the rear as usual. You will get, if you haven't unboxed again, you will get the same yellow card in there and inside the box user manual charge lead work away and then your holster so you've got a nice belt holster for your uh, Sega 3 Pro and say so I'm going to just take off the um, yellow tab Ooh, that's nice. It is nice. There you go, Instagram. You can have a look at that first. Yeah, the other ones can't see it. Don't tell them. I like that. Very, very nice. It's a really nice coloration. So let's show uh, the ones here on Facebook and YouTube. There we go, guys. What do you think of them? Very, very nice. I do love the gradient work that we do. I'm going to give you just a better look with the extra lighting. It is a really nice gradient. What do you think? Gary, not at the minute. So, well, hey, this is brilliant. Uh, thank you, Steve Jobs. <laughs> the battery and my... Um, Lightning mouse, whatever, magic mouse, has died. So we're stuck on the camera angles that we're at for Facebook and YouTube because I've got this running off um, a laptop at the moment that's closed and I'm not opening the laptop to um, muck around with screens and stuff. So we're done with this. This is life. This is what happens when you're live. So if you haven't had a Sega 3 Pro before, you have an automatic lockout after 30 seconds. So no matter what you do, now I turned the wee knob here, I'll show you that in a minute. We'll leave that for 30 seconds. No matter what you do with that light, after 30 seconds, um, it won't work. You have to rotate the dial on the button through 90 degrees. So I usually just give it a nearly like 180 and that will unlock the light. Then you can turn it on. Which is great because um, it does prevent it from turning on accidentally. And um, we have had people again who maybe had the Seeker 2 Pro and just haven't read the instructions for the Seeker 3 Pro 
I'm going, my light won't turn on. I was like, right, rotate the button through 180 just to make sure. 90 degrees is usually it, but that should be 30 seconds. So I'm pressing that. It's not turning on. But what is happening is my um, battery indicator is going up. These guys on Facebook, as you can see that. So my battery indicator goes up. And that's all. And that's if I triple press, whatever, nothing won't work. Now this button, this wheel, if I scroll the wheel, now you can see on the other side, the lumen indicator has kicked in. Now the torch is unlocked. I can use it like a Seeker 2 Pro by pressing, press and hold to cycle through. I can triple press for strobe. I can double tap into turbo. Um, or I can use the scroll wheel like a dimmer switch. And I can do that to go through my modes. Now, this battery needs fully charged to access then the turbo uh, mode. So this is a brand new unboxing. So I'm going to put this on a good charge. And speaking of charging, when you get your new product, it is best to give it a full charge and to make sure everything works okay. Um, what I will be charging on which have been very popular are the Ominos. So um, these guys have seen the Ominos before. These are fantastic for charging our products. So um, what I'll do at the end of this video, I will pop on the uh, gradient, the forest green one, and the um, clover gradient. I'll pop them two on for charge. So get them on charging and uh, that will make life so much easier. One USB type C cable and I can charge four torches. So um, can you get a pocket clip for these? Um, Mike, the pocket clips may be available on the website again. We did have them. Anytime we get them, they do sell really quickly. So keep having a look. Um, but what I'll do is I'll charge these two and I can put like a bulb on there or I'll pick another torch as a wee EDC torch or something and have that on there charging as well. So if you haven't picked up an Omino, these are brilliant. Um, I have them dotted around the house. I have one on my desk. I have um, one at the back door where like the torches are there um, for if I'm going out in the evening, you know, check on the dogs or something like that there. And then bedside table for maybe an EDC light. A bump in the night light. Something out there. And then they're very, very um, easy just to pull them off and go. Um... Yeah, so they are very, very good. So check out the Ominos. If you haven't got one already, have a look at them. And again, remember, stuff's going to be happening around our anniversary sale. Um, you can probably guess by the promotional stuff coming up that it's this month. All right, that's not a secret. So it will be happening this month. The next one and last one I've got for you is the i5R. So i5Rs are coming again in the forest gradient. So if you're an i5R fan, yay. Um, I love the i5Rs. I think they're cracking light. Um, so many lumens for so little... Um, size you know like they're they're great anybody else notice that little bit of cardboard just flick off the side of my head i5r's yes scott oh it's like a smarties tin 
Can we give me a tube of Smarties? It's like shaking them. Right, I5R. Oh, it's, it's just. Yeah. The guys have done good. Let's get the wee yellow tab out of it. Now, the yellow tab out of this one is just a very small disc. So, um, you can discard that. Some people save them if they're putting the torch, say, fully charged into like a wee emergency kit. They may um, terminate the battery that way instead of storing the battery separate. So, it's up to you. Yeah. Mike, Desert Tan, not Sandy Tan. Desert Tan. So I5R and Forest Gradient. I like the way we've done it. Black pocket clip, black button, but the black gradient on this going towards the head of the light. Very, very nice. Very, very nicely done. And these are very, very easy to recharge. So take Vaughn battery out. You have an included USB Type-C cable. And just plug that in to the top of the battery. Now, this will not go all the way in. So don't force it. It'll just sit in there. That's all you need. And then chargey chargey. Well, somebody else can answer the door. Because we're doing a live. So I have no idea who that is at the door. Um, but I'm not answering it. These are a 1420 milliamp battery. 2.4 volt. Um, we'll get your run times when you're fully charged. So run times on the high, it's 350 lumens on high. You get that for 10 minutes. And that's, that's constant. Then it will drop down to 150 lumens for 170 minutes. Or you can select the low mode and you get that for 15 minutes. <laughs> I could be the cat ringing the doorbell. I did um, kick the cat out of the room here because they wanted to go on absolutely crazy. So single click on here, you get the low mode first. Single click and then click again. It will go up to the high mode. You can't, don't have to do a full click, you can do a momentary. And a lot of the time I use this as momentary. Taking these out of my pocket and then just a wee momentary um, blast on that. And it's perfect. So that works out for me. Um, clickiest, clicky switch for fidgety thumbs. Do you like that? Yeah, gives your thumbs a workout. So that is a really, really nice light, that i5R. So these gradient lights will be coming out. Uh, they'll be for sale very, very shortly. So um, keep an eye on the website. And... Let's see, it is my mouse. It is, it's charged up enough that I can work away with the camera. Keep an eye on the website. If you're not subscribed, um, create yourself an account on the website. You'll get subscribed to our newsletter and then you're gonna hear about offers coming up for our anniversary. Also, 
make sure you're following us here on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Um, make sure you're all following us on all social media stuff as well. And we will be doing a lot more um, stuff coming up for our anniversary. These are going to be available on uh, for our anniversary, not before. So, um, so keep an eye out. Keep an eye out on our, even just our webpage. You'll see stuff coming on there. Our main Facebook page, Olight UK. The group, if you're not involved in the group, then search for Olight UK group. Just search for that there. Apply to enter in, answer the questions. Job done. And um, then the on our YouTube channel as well. So there'll be stuff happening across all social media channels. So make sure you join in and um, there'll be lots going on. Uh, Fergal jumped ahead and got the i5R on Amazon and it's gorgeous. Fantastic. Um, glad you like it. I think I seen, well, I don't know if you can't really quote me. Don't quote me, but I think the price that we're going to be offering it at might have been better than the Amazon price. But don't quote me. Maybe. We'll see. So that's really your lot for today. Uh, we are going to um, do lots more coming up, say, for our anniversary. And uh, you may see some wee video clips getting put up for that. And the new stuff that we've got coming, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, somebody asked me what was my EDC for today, and it's the um, i3T, i3T Plus, one of my favorite um, lights. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm carrying. New stuff coming. So make sure you stay subscribed and follow us for all the new lights and all that sort of crack coming out. And uh, we will be showing you all as quickly as we can. We'll probably have to take our lead from the Americans uh, because they just like being special. Don't know why. Don't know what they've ever done to make themselves feel special. But there we go. What do you do? We do love them. Don't worry. We are we're we're not slagging them off too much. So any questions before we wind up? Uh sorry you cannot be requested to jump into the live video. Sorry. Saws. Uh any questions? Now's your chance. Oh, yes. I forgot. A wee bit of admin. Um, Warranty-wise, if in the past you have received the warranty template um, from us before you've sent in your warranty claim and just think, well, now I've got it, now I've got the address, I can just send the stuff in, don't, Okay. Um, because everything is changing. Robert, I'll answer your question in a minute. Um, our Northern Ireland office is now closed. We finished that up yesterday. Um, so warranty stuff is getting sorted out for that. There is just some admin in the background that needs to be done before we can accept warranty back again. So do not... Uh, send anything in until you have confirmed with uh, our customer service team where to send it in. Yes, Helen. Um, Helen, I, oh, I don't want to say the email in yet because it'll just sit there. I will um, find out when it's getting sorted and then we'll make an announcement on that. 
Uh, I three R battery would be too small for a Type C connector. I think so. Yeah. Triple A batteries aren't that expensive anyway, so um, I would just go ahead. Got my night tour sorted. It turns out they don't like what the heads being swapped between units. All right, sweet. Any other weird, wonderful questions? Oh, somebody asked for an air rifle. Right. Rob. Was it Rob? Rob Rogers. What's the best torch for an air rifle? Look, first of all, Rob, I'm going to ask you what type of air rifle you're using. Are you going using something that's like a PCP style one and you're going to like a FX something, like an FX impact or something you're going to shoot out to crazy distances? Or you want to... Um, sort yourself out with um, like just something at 30 yards, 40 yards, something out there. I would probably look at the Warrior X Turbo um, or the Warrior X Pro. We have a kit version for the Warrior X Turbo which has red lenses and uh, green lenses on it. Um, so you can swap if quarry like rabbits or whatever are not responding well if they're running away on red you can switch to green pcp sub 12 foot pound i i would go something like a warrior x pro and then if you're going to mount it on top of your scope i can't even show you that can i Right. Probably shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> I'm not showing the brand, the torch brand on this because it's an IR light and I'm not promoting them on our feed. This is the mount that I love. This is a low profile mount. It's a Picatinny mount. So what I do, I get a scope ring to Picatinny adapter. Anybody who's not into shooting, all they're hearing now is white noise. So um, I get a scope ring to pick a tinny adapter. And your front uh, scope ring, I take the top off it and I replace it with the top of the uh, scope ring to pick a tinny adapter. I put that on top. Now this is a low profile adjustable mount. This is metal. So that's a low profile mount. With that, I can adjust the windage and the elevation of the light so I can get the light perfectly aligned into my field of view. So that means that I get as much light into my scope as possible. Perfect. So that's what I would recommend. Uh, torches in a redemption zone may change. Again, it's subject to stock and stuff like that there as well. So um, I will put a request in to see if we get them updated. Uh, Mike's asking how I am. Thanks very much, Mike. I'm not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. So I think that is your lot for today. And please keep an eye out on socials. We'll be doing a lot more. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic weekend. Um, I am going shooting tomorrow. Yay. So I'm going clay shooting tomorrow. And um, testing out my new glasses. I have a new set of AM cam glasses so i'm going to be using them tomorrow and um that's gonna be me so look after yourselves and uh we will be back with the next video um as soon as we can have a lovely shoot i will 
It looks like it's raining at the minute. Looks like it's going to rain for tomorrow. Maybe. It's doing a bit of meh at the minute. But um, it's at a skeet uh, range. So, or a skeet shooting club. I don't know how many I'm going to shoot. Last time I was there, I shot 75. Um, nah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. So, Carl, you're 100% right. You're either going to go cut the grass or build a snowman. I I got my grass cut yesterday. Stupid goals. Really, really stupid goals. Cutting the grass before it rains. Yes. Got all my grass in the field. Done as well. Clear it up before it rains. Or I might um, maybe go buy some trees. It's going to buy some more trees as well. Buy some more fruit trees for um, the field to make a proper orchard. Yeah, Mike. Funny that rain in Northern Ireland. Freaky. About to ring the news here and tell them. Right. Look after yourselves. Take care. Be good. Bye-bye.